the book of Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, the Edomite, the ruling party family, the so called white. That's right, the so-called Caucasians, yes, the descendants of Esau. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, thou dwellest in the land of woes. It says, The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. It says, The punishment of thine iniquity, mm -hmm. Is accomplished. It says, Oh, daughter of Zion. You hear what the Lord just says? The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, family. We have served our time in our captivity. It says, Oh, daughter of Zion. Hmm? It says, He will no more carry thee away into captivity. This is our last captivity. That's right. We have served our time. And the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, is coming. Eh? to free us from this bondage. That's right. To free us from all these contractual laws, family, the birth certificate, everything that is associated with this nation's family. The king of Israel, Yahweh Shai, that's his name. He's known as the redeemer of Israel. Family, that is why we give thanks. We give thanks simply to the power of Israel. Israel, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yes. He says here, let's repeat that again. He says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. Accomplished, family. He says, oh, daughter of Zion. These are the Israelites. He says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. Meaning what? We were never going to serve these nations again. This is it for us. It says, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Now they are about to receive their judgment. And the Edomites, that's right, and the rest of the nations who benefited hugely from the slave trade and all the atrocities that they brought upon the children of the Most High, Yahweh, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. He says, O oh, daughter of the Edom, he will discover thine sin. That's right. Biden today made a reference yesterday, last night, at the fundraising, he made a reference to Armageddon. That's right. Biden wants nuclear Armageddon. Family, we know that the nuclear war is going to be fought. Why? Because the Lord showed us told us about it in his word which is what our history book which is what the bible that's our history book that's right yahweh shai the moment he went up and sat in the right hand of our power yahweh family he took the seal of this book and gave us the understanding the spirit eh, to be able to see to understand the mystery of this book this word the king of kings the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, did for us. Because it's hard for people to understand, to understand. If you tell them that America is going to be destroyed, they look at you like you, you have uh, six horns on your head because they don't know the Bible. America's destruction is prophesied all over the Bible. And if the Lord has said it, it is going to happen. There's nothing these nations can do to avoid it. They can write, they can change their laws, they can say everybody have to destroy their nuclear weapon. No, this is not their movie. It is the Lord Yahweh who is directing them to fulfill his will, to make way for his only begotten son, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, to rule in righteousness. We're going to go to the book of Revelation 16, verse 16. Quickly, Revelation chapter 16, verse 16, it says here. 
Actually, let's pick it up from verse 15. Revelation 16 verse 15 says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth. That's right. That's what we do. We're watching. the signs. Family, we're praying. Asking for forgiveness of sins. Repentance. Doing our best. Eh? So that the Lord will remember the, us in the day of wrath. It says here, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. The garments are this word, family, and the laws and the statutes that are written in it. Are we going to be saved by the laws? No. But what? We show our faith by doing our best to keep the laws to the best of our ability. Because the Lord Yahweh Shai came and eh? went on the cross. So what? He can bring us back to the Lord and also give us liberty and grace for this period. Because we knew that we couldn't keep the law. That's where we went off. That's why the Lord punishes. That's why the Lord gave us into the hands of these nations. But we show our faith by doing our best to keep the laws to the best of our ability and not following these heathen and their customs. They are about to celebrate Thanksgiving. And family, you have to go down and you got to check the history, the beginning of Thanksgiving. Family, you look it up. You can say you don't know why these people celebrate Thanksgiving. It's all hard to do with slavery. Yes, it has some uh, element of slavery in it, family. They were very blessed with the slave trade. Eh? They sent gifts to each other during those periods. The family, they are very thankful that the Lord blessed them with slaves. We work their plantations. As the time that is coming, family. The Lord says what? We have saved our time and Yahweh Shah is coming to redeem the elect and destroy this place. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Without this truth, you are walking naked. That's right. Without this truth, you are lost. You have no covering. That's what, that's what it says. You, that's what it means by naked. This is what this, this truth here covers, covers us. This is the garment that we have to put on. Once you have this truth, family, you are clothed. If without this truth, you are naked. That's simple. It says here, verse 16, it says, And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Armageddon, the Middle East family is coming, the Third World War. It says, and the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, it is done, the end of this kingdom. It says here, verse 18, and there were voices and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not seen since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. Family, that's what is coming. That's right. Like I keep saying in the lessons through the Spirit, that Yahweh Shai's entrance into this planet is going to be like no other. The earthquake, family says, the earthquake, that's all the stuff that's going to be taking place before the king comes, family. That's why the book says what? It's a day of gloominess. It's a day of darkness. Earthquake, lightnings. This is all, it's all coming together to usher in, in the new kingdom. Yahweh Shai is coming. To redeem his elect, beam them up into the chariot, and then bring down the pain on these nations. That is what is coming. It says, and there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since such as was not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. It says here, verse 19, and the great city was divided into three parts. And the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon, hmm? and great Babylon came in remembrance before the Most High to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of His wrath. That's right, Babylon the Great. This Babylon family, the ancient Babylon, was taken down by the Medes and Persia. That was destroyed at six six o five BC, or I think now maybe five hundred BC. You have to look that up, family. That ancient Babylon was destroyed. This modern day Babylon family, they haven't been touched yet. That's why the Lord referred it to what? The virgin daughter of Babylon. That's right. It hasn't been touched yet. And that time is coming. It's fast approaching. 
It says, And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. And there fell upon men great hail out of heaven. Hmm? These are going to become the missiles, and so the lasers are going to be coming out of the chariot, the so-called UFOs. That's right, those are the Lord's chariot. You see, every stone about the weight of talent, <laughs> and men blaspheming the Mosai because of the plague of the hail. For the plague, therefore, was exceeding great. People are going to be cursing the Lord. Because family, once those uh, uh, brimstone hits your head, family, the pain that you're going to feel is going to be excruciating. That's why they were cursing the Lord. That's what the book says. This is what is coming. But family, this was very interesting. The reason why I went to the Revelation 16 because of the comment that Biden made. Because he what? He mentioned Armageddon. Hmm? He mentioned Armageddon. That's Revelation 16 verse 16. Again, let me repeat that again. It says here, Revelation 16, verse 16, it says here, And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. That's it. That's going to be in the Middle East. Family, everything is coming together. And they know what is coming because the U.S. Uh, administration just spent over 290, family, that's a quarter of a billion, $290 million on some anti-radiation uh, uh, pills. Okay? Med medication so family they know what is coming there will be nuclear war because the lord has said it okay you can see that you can you can you can read that in the book of uh, isaiah 9 5 isaiah chapter 9 verse 5 okay it says here biden warns nuclear armageddon threat back for first time since cuban missile crisis president joe biden said on thursday that the threat of nuclear armageddon is at its highest level since the Cuban Missile Crisis and that the U.S. is trying to find an off-ramp for Russia before they begin the use of tactical nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. He says, we are trying to figure out what is Putin's off-ramp. Where does he get off? Where does he find a way out? Biden said at a fundraising in New York City for Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee at the New York home of James Murdoch, the son of News Corp, Chairman Rupert Murdoch. It says, where does he find himself in a position that he does not? Not only lose face, but lose significant power in Russia. So propaganda family, but we know that at the end of the day, the Lord is going to reign supreme. He said he is not joking when he talked about potential use of tactical nuclear weapons or biological and chemical weapons because his military is, you might say, significantly underperforming. Hmm? Family, don't believe that. Don't believe that nonsense. They are not performing. Family, this is all propaganda. But family, we are here to bring you the facts. It says, Go. this is coming from Joe Biden's mouth. It says, Biden added, according to Bloomberg, I don't think there's any such thing as the ability to easily use tactical nuclear weapons and not end up with Armageddon. That's the well, that's where family, that's why I went to the book of Revelation 16. Yes, it says, Are uh, Biden's comments related to why his admin ad, ad, admin is buying up to 290 million anti radiation drugs? Family, I just mentioned that I didn't even I didn't know it was written already in here. But that's the spirit family. It says here, and uh, uh, Biden's comment related to why his admin is buying up to $290 million. What am I saying? $290 million in anti radiation drugs. Putin has renewed his nuclear threat as he announced the annexation of Ukraine territory some of which Russia doesn't control, and with the call-up of 300,000 reservists to reinforce his flagging invasion. He says, when the territorial integrity of our country is strengthened, we will certainly use all the means of our, at our disposal to protect Russia and our people. Putin said in a televised national address, this is not bluff, Bloomberg. Biden's dire language comes in stark contrast to his national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, who said last week that the U.S. doesn't, the US doesn't think Putin is serious. It says here, we do, not we do not 
presently see indications about the imminent use of nuclear weapons. He said, we are of course monitoring that carefully mm -hmm. and staying in close consultation with allies and partners. Sullivan added that the U.S. has warned of severe consequences if Russia uses nukes. It is coming. There's no way of getting around it. There's no way of getting around it. So family, that came from Joe Biden's mouth. He said, Biden wants nuclear Armageddon. Tread back for the first time since Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah, so it is everything is all coming together. Family, let's go to the book of uh, oh, Peter. Second Peter is coming up every week now. Second Peter verse 3, 10. Second Peter chapter 3. Uh, verse 10, it says here, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Family, think about it. You have nuclear missiles flying. You have uh, the chariots, the chariots and... Uh, you know, bringing out brimstones and and lasers and earthquakes and lightning. Family, that's the day of the Lord. That's what it says in the book. Is this Zephaniah? Zephaniah 1. Here, yeah, Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14. It says here, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. It says the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. It says the day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Family, that's the day of the Lord. That's the day of the Lord. This is the pit. That's, that's what is going to be happening. But the elect, that's why family, the time is sure to be playing with your life. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. That's what the book says in Isaiah. Am I right? Isaiah 55, it just dropped in my spirit. I might as well bring it. It says what? Verse 6, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. It says here, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. You listen to this? Let's repeat that again. Isaiah 55 verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Call ye upon him, while he is near. What is the Lord's name? Yahweh, our heavenly father, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the power of our forefathers, and his only begotten son, who is coming to redeem the elect. His name is Yahweh Shai. Those are the two names, family. It says, verse 7, it says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, okay? And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Are you listening to this? That's the time that we are living in. So family, I don't want this thing to be long. I just want to, I came across it and I figured, you know what, don't let me bring it up to edify the flock. Know the time that we are in. Let's give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and his only begotten son, our Redeemer, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the one that went on the cross to give us this understanding, to be able to remove the seal and give us the, the mystery, the mystery. Now it's no longer mystery to us because he has given us the true understanding of his word. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.